Hi, and here we have a, uh, I think it's out of a Peugeot. I actually have no idea what year of the vehicle is. Uh, let's have a look at some of these date, date codes. And uh, looks like maybe a 2001. 2001 Peugeot. Maybe, possibly. Yeah. 2001, 13th week. Nice. Let's have a look at the connector here. Is that right? Nice. So, uh, basically we have a... Um, Ignition driver fault, I think. So um, basically, the the auto Sparky determined what pins that uh, were affected in this um, device. So basically, we have to replace this IC here, and that will be the offending target. So let's have a look at closely at this uh, this device. Basically, it's um, you know a smart switching device. It takes in um, uh, a current and has uh, feedback right through the micro and uh, yeah but anyways shit's fucked and we need to replace it so here we have uh, some gel flux you can't actually remove the PCB board off the um, aluminium clad which is below that also acts as heat sinking if we have a look there so that's cool so we'll just uh, place the entire thing on the heat uh, preheater so let, let's start it off at 173 degrees here to make note of the orientation of the IC as well. So the ST goes at the bottom. Cool. And uh, yeah, so we've uh, we've purchased a new IC, and we'll just take that out of the cut tape and get things underway. Just not take that out. And just drop it on the floor. Very nice, Dave. Nope. It didn't quite go on the floor, so that's right. Cool. Okay. So let's uh, get things underway and heat this IC up and get it going. Um, so I'm going to start off at a reasonably low airflow. Maybe not that too low. Just a little bit. A little bit harder. Now, because we've got such a, a massive... Uh, ground plane underneath um, we're going to have a little bit of trouble actually heating that off the board that's okay so we, we really do need to concentrate on the very the bottom there okay I'll just uh, increase the airflow now about four Should really turn the iron on as well. Get the the iron preheating up. And it's going to be a difficult one to take off because of the aluminium clad directly underneath. That's okay. Okay, that should be. I really do want to see the, the um, solar liquify on both sides. And just increase the airflow just a smidge more as well. See if we can get a little bit closer there. Simply just a time thing. I mean, we don't want to damage the board. Nicely liquefy. See, there we go. We're about to lift it off. Nice. So there's our IC there. We'll just put that aside. And we'll get some um, solder braid. Got a really nice bladed tip here so we can actually work off a lot of that solder. And here we go, just work off that nicely. And we obviously need a lot of heat as well just to save us from damaging any tracks and pads on here. Work that up nicely so we've got a smooth surface to work on. And there we go. Just um, clear off the old wick. 
that should be about right. I just see a little bit of a bit of a lump there, so just clear out that off. Perfect. Looks good. Uh, there's two ways of uh, reapplying this IC. We could use solder paste underneath. Um, I don't know. Might do that. Might not. Depends what we want to do. So this, um, this pad probably just extends across. We do have a lot of connection points underneath, so I'm not too worried about that. off the uh, the old flux. It's very important to get rid of the old flux before you, you attempt to solder on a newer chip. Okay, how do I... Okay, so how are we going to do this? Okay, because there's no solder um, solder mask in between these uh, points here, I'm actually going to go and solder them manually um, because that'll be easier to yeah, to, to actually short together, so I'm going to just apply a little bit of gel flux here, over there, over there. I'll, I'll just set up the other iron as well. And we'll just place that underneath. One pin's actually bent up. The problem with these ICs is that the reason why here is because they are potentially factory rejects that aren't um, with intolerance for the factory so that's what you have to work with so you can actually see they're actually not quite straight and one one pin over here is actually lifted up slightly I wonder if we can actually zoom in and see that properly um, it's just just right here it's not actually sitting down the right whether I've actually bumped that with my my tweezers or not, but either way, I'm going to uh, turn up the preheater just a smidge more, just to get a lot more heat in there as I solder this into place, and I'll just grab a smaller, smaller tip, um, here we go. Okay. You should probably get it so I think the best thing to do is actually start off with um, exactly. yeah, no, that's cool. one pin, try to whip that down as best as possible, and then try to whip this one down here as well. It's not going to whip down very nicely, so we have to move it into place. How we could avoid this is actually just um, using solder paste and then the surface tension of it would actually um, move it into place. Okay, so that's really nice to centre. I'll just move. Okay. Worry about shorts later. Sort out this other pen. So that looks good. Let's put a little bit more flux there. Never have too much. Okay, solder that down. Okay, that looks pretty good. Nah, flicking it down, hang on. Okay. <laughs> okay, that looks really good. Right, we'll just clear up those um those shorts. We do need a little bit more heat in there to actually to clear that up. So we'll use a hot air gun just to get enough heat in there, just to let the completely wick over and then we'll just uh, wick up the rest excess. Okay, so here we go. So just wick it over. Right, I'll just wick the excess up. Clear up those two. 
and there we go. So that's that side nicely soldered. Now we need to do the same to this side. So I'll just re reflux that. We might actually apply a little bit more heat on this side once we've established a good bond. And just get that nice into position so we can actually solder it. That any obstruction and here we go. Yeah, there's not enough heat on this. It's not it's not flowing very well. Okay. So it's all just shorting up. Okay, so that's cool. We'll supply a little bit more heat. And move it across. Here we go. Nice. Get rid of the excess. And then after this point we have to do those massive ground planes. Ground uh, connections on the side. Okay. Right across. And those pins aren't sitting very flat. But we can bridge that okay with the iron. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then just check the temperature of the rest of the, uh, the board. That's good. And let's try to get one of these uh, soldered in. Might have to use some hot ex uh, extra hot air there just to get the heat inside. There it is. And yeah, we'll do that to the other side. Okay, I'm just gonna add that into position. Solder flow. There we go. Right, so we just clean that up and get rid of all the old flux and uh, repair done. So that's um, replacing the driver I see on a, a Peugeot ECE. Nice. So if you have the same problem or um, need component level repairs done on your ECU, uh, have a look at our website, getelectronic.co.nz, or if you're in New Zealand, uh, give us a call, 0800 000 488. Thank you. Uh,